We've already talked about the tenses of sentences, past tense, present tense, and future tense. Past tense meaning it already happened, present tense meaning it, ha it is happening at this current moment, and future tense means that it will happen. Today we are going to talk about present tense and more specifically about spelling the present tense verbs. So quite often when we have a present tense verb, we have to add an S onto the end of it, but that depends on what the subject is like. So I have two sentences that are very similar here. I have the dogs run through the yard and the dog runs through the yard. If you notice when my subject is plural, meaning there's more than one, my verb does not have an S on the end of it. And this one down here, when my subject is singular, which means just one dog, my verb has an S on it. So when we're spelling these present tense verbs, sometimes we have to add S's onto the end of the word. Quite often, when the subject is singular, there needs to be an S on the end of the verb. If the subject is plural, like dogs, there will not have to be an S on the end of the verb. So when we are adding S's on to the, to the end of the verb, if it ends in SS, if the verb ends in SS, SH, CH, ZZ, or X, we're going to often add an E before the S. For example, passes becomes, sorry, pass becomes passes. If we didn't add that E in there, it would just be pass. And wash becomes washes. If we didn't add that E in there, it would be wash. So we need that washes, that E in there. Teach becomes teaches. Without the E, it would be teach instead of teaches. And tax becomes taxes. So if the verb, if we need to add an S onto the verb and it ends in S, C, S, H, C, H, Z, Z, or X, we're going to add an E before the S. Now, there, now if it ends in a Y and we're adding an S onto it, we change the Y to an I and add ES. So for example, study is going to become studies. We change that Y into an I and add ES. Try becomes tries. Once again, that Y gets changed to an I and we add ES. Mary becomes Mary's. Same deal. Change the Y to an I and add ES. Fly and cry work the same way. Fly becomes flies. Cry becomes cries. Both of those, the Y changes to an I and we add ES. Now there are times where we cannot change the Y to an I and add ES, and that is when there is a vowel in front of the Y. So if there's a vowel in front of the Y, we do not change the Y to an I and add ES. And there are some examples down here, I gotta get rid of me to, so you can see those, like play, if we change the Y to an I and add an ES and play, it'd be P-L-A-I, ES, which wouldn't make any sense. Same thing with say. Say becomes says. We wouldn't change the Y to an I and add ES. So if you see basically three vowels in a row, you more than likely know you made a mistake, a mistake there. So like by becomes buys. It wouldn't be B-U-I-E-S. We keep that Y there because there is a vowel in front of the Y. All right. Thanks a lot. Good luck, and if you need any help, let me know.